Well, the irony is this area was supposed to be one of the de-escalation zones. Essentially, a ceasefire was supposed to take place. There wasn't supposed to be any violence. But what we've seen in recent months is these ceasefires, these agreements between rebel groups as well as the Syrian government and Russia simply breaking down. So I think it's unlikely that we're going to see uh, a dropping off in the violence in the coming days. The Syrian government wants to push rebels, some of them hardline militants, out of that area. But it is creating a humanitarian emergency. The UN says a quarter of a million civilians have been forced to flee the fighting. And for many of them, they've gone to Idlib in the first place to escape fighting elsewhere. And they can't get out of Syria. The Turkish border uh, is closed. So it's a very difficult uh, situation for the civilians caught there. All right. Martin Patience, thanks for taking us through all of that. Martin Patience there in Beirut for us. Now, they are some of the giants of the oceans threatened by tiny fragments of plastic. Now, scientists are calling for research on the impact of microplastics on whales, sharks and rays. Uh, how does toxin exposure affect their growth, their feeding, their reproduction? Which are the places where the risk is greatest? Well, let's put some of those questions to Helen Briggs of BBC Health and Science. Uh, Helen, welcome uh, again to the programme. Tell me a little more about what the scientists are saying and what they want actually to do here. Well, first of all, we're talking about microplastics, so these tiny little microbeads, they come from cosmetics, from synthetic fibres, they get into the oceans. And we're talking about whales and sharks that filter feed, so they're ingesting water and filtering tiny little particles out of the water for their plankton and their food, and microplastics are about the same size, so scientists are really concerned that they're ingesting a lot of these particles, sometimes maybe hundreds or even thousands a day. We just don't know what they're doing once they get into the animals' bodies. Yes, I was going to ask you, I mean, how much, because they found stranded whales, haven't they, how much are some of these creatures actually consuming? Well, we found with stranded whales huge amounts of plastic inside their stomachs. With microplastics, hundreds to thousands probably of particles going into the animals. Uh, if they get into their bodies, then um, theoretically, um, we don't know quite what effects they could have but theoretically they could affect things like digestion nutritional uptake growth and reproduction in the long term um, but no direct link has yet been proved between microplastics and harmful effects what they're saying is we need to do more research we're talking about iconic species and the scientists are are pinpointing different parts of the world that they specifically want to look at aren't they that's right. So they're talking about things like whale sharks, these massive fish, the largest fish in the ocean, iconic animals. Uh, and they're looking at the areas where there's a lot of them, where they're key feeding grounds, they're key breeding grounds, where they coincide with lots of plastic. So they're saying there's some priorities, the Coral Triangle region, Bay of Bengal, Gulf of Mexico, Mediterranean Sea. These are priorities for research. So we should be taking samples from these animals, taking little muscle samples and measuring chemicals in there to see whether there's a link with plastics. Uh, and you touched upon it, but, uh, I mean, they're clearly consuming these plastics. Uh, is the, the principal concern that uh, somehow they're choking them, or, or what is the real damage they're doing to them? Well, we know that toxins can get into their bodies. The tests have already shown that there are some toxins from chemicals in their bodies. Um, how, what effects this might have, we don't know. But the point really being that some of these animals, these whales, these sharks, are already under a great deal of pressure. They're already threatened. So um, plastics could push them even closer to extinction. Isn't the truth of it, finally, Helen, that, uh, I mean, 